B. This is Coffee with Tim Black. News rap. But I won't be rapping. I mean, I might, because I get loose. You know, I do things. <laughs> um, Let's switch gears. Yahoo! Yahoo! Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo. I remember when that song first came out, they used to have this answering thing where they would do this recording. You could get a Yahoo voicemail box for free. But you had to listen to an advertisement, and everyone who called you would listen to an advertisement as they left the message for you. Yahoo! Well, Yahoo is being sold to Verizon. Oh, yeah. What's the total? After data breaches, Verizon knocks $350 million off a of Yahoo sale. Now valued at $4.48 billion. Holy guacamole. After the disclosure of two massive data breaches last year, today, Yahoo and Verizon finally confirmed new terms for the sale of Yahoo to Verizon. Verizon will pay $350 million less than originally planned, working out to a price of $4.48 billion to acquire Yahoo. The two have also agreed to share legal and de uh, regulatory liabilities after two massive data breaches. So... In the terms of the agreement, Verizon will take on the legal responsibility of handling Yahoo's issues, lawsuits, what have you. When data gets breached, people's accounts are subjected to be hacked. So any of the lawsuits that stem from what happened with Yahoo's breaches, Verizon will take up. I guess this has to do with the sweetening of the deal by lowering the cost. I guess on a, from a business standpoint, Verizon said, Now's the time to buy you. We'll take the wait. Because if we wait to buy you, it's going to cost us more money. Gosh, you ever feel like you wish you got raped? I mean, breached or hacked. Just to get paid. Let's see. Because I got to imagine Verizon's going to settle these cases real quick. And get back to business of making money off Yahoo. So let's see what else we have in this story that may be of note. We've always believed uh, this acquisition makes strategic sense. We look forward to moving ahead expeditiously so that we can quickly welcome. Let me, I can't really read this. What is going on? Let me zoom this in a little bit, guys. Okay. So this must be Verizon talking about the, the actual deal. They want to quickly welcome Yahoo's tremendous talent and assets into our expanding portfolio in the digital advertising space, said Murin Walden, Verizon's executive vice president and uh, presidents of new businesses. All right, guys. So here goes the thing. This may be good for Verizon. I don't think it's good for us. I think Verizon has enough power as it is, the way it throttles the Internet. All right giving more preferential treatment to bigger websites, which should be illegal, which should, is illegal. But we know they got all types of lobbyists in D.C. trying to push to limit the Internet access and, and save the speedy lanes for just those that pay. So any company that gets this much control is bad for us. And I'm always looking out for you. So that's the way I always see it. Verizon don't pay no bills here. So this is not good, guys. This is not a good win for us. This is a win for corporatocracy. This is a win for the oligarchy. This is a win for big corporations. And I don't buy for a second that this is going to help us in any way. Look what happened to YouTube once Google brought it. I'm Tim Black. Thank you for tuning into this show. Uh, we'll be doing more segments. If you like what you see, subscribe and also become a member of my Wolfpack.